Thank you. A group of women who call themselves a bunch of bald chicks will give up a piece of their femininity to femininity tonight, excuse me, to fight childhood cancers. Katie Vasilis is leading the charge. In fact, she's already shaved her head once for her son Matthias. Bilateral retinoblastoma left him without the ability to see. Matthias's beautiful blue eyes tell a story. He's changing again. But don't try to slow him down long enough to hear it. He's four and on fire. Go, go, go for me. He is literally unstoppable. I haven't seen him stop yet. Craig and Katie Vasilis had to make a tough decision when Matthias was just 10 months old. Continue with cancer treatments that weren't guaranteed to work or... Our other option was enucleation or surgical removal of the eyes. The decision was obvious. The surgery gave Matthias a clean bill of health before his first birthday and the chance to welcome in his second. For Katie and Craig, this journey was literally eye-opening. We knew kids got cancer. We didn't know how bad it is. And that's when they decided to give back. What happens Friday night? <laughs> We're going to shave our heads. Really? What for? People for cancer. Matthias, his brother, and his mom will welcome a shearing again this Friday with about 100 others. Together, this group will raise nearly $120,000 for the St. Baldrick's Foundation. To shave my head to try to give kids a brighter future, of course. Absolutely. The foundation is thankful for families like this because funding for childhood cancer research is often overlooked. It's now about 80% uh, survival rate for most children's cancer. Uh, it still needs to be higher. Raising money ensures more kids like Matthias get the chance to call themselves Survivor. We joke that with Matthias, we've learned to slow down and enjoy things a little bit more. And that's why this month, Bald is Beautiful. Katie has seven women on her team, and by the end of the night, there'll be a bunch of bald chicks. Be part of the St. Baldrick's shaving action tonight at the Northside Knights of Columbus. It all starts at 6 o'clock. All that's required is a donation to the cause, although you can offer to have your head shaved, too. Huh? But you have to pay up. They need that money. Right. The money is what's part of it. Exactly. Well, let me tell you something, Katie. If you're listening at home, you'll look great with a shaved head. Doesn't she yeah, look Yeah, she sports it well, so. She said that having a shaved head was actually kind of liberating as a woman. Yeah. It took away needing the makeup and the fancy hair, and just she was beautiful from the inside. Yeah, she still looks great. I think that's fantastic.